Well, good morning. I'm glad you could join me today. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Today I wanted to share some tips and ideas with you on how you can grow acorn squash in your garden by direct sowing them. So I'm really glad you could join me today. So I'm down here below my pond. I have these four raised planter beds. I'm here on the end one, and um, you know, we love our, our acorn squash here in the garden. You know, and they always give you some helpful information here on the back of the pack here. It says, Mammoth Table Queen is an excellent acorn squash which grows on vines up to eight feet long. Its flesh is sweet, yellow with dark skin. Can be baked for a wonderful side dish, and it also can be stored over winter and so you know last year we grew the winter squash here and uh, I had some of my acorn squash here and my butternut squash and this year I'm even trying the um, the the big squash the blue hubbard squash and so um, and then also says harvest before frost when stem is dry and then also pan planting depth for the seed is half inch to three quarter inches and then it re likes full sun and then so after danger of frost and so we have about two weeks here before the before our, our last frost date and so which is may 15th here in pennsylvania and so i thought i would just get a little earlier jump here direct selling these out in the garden and so i want about two good plants here in this raised bed and so i'm going to sow about six to eight seeds something like that and so you know i went through the soil and uh you know, you want to add, I use my alfalfa pellets. You know, you've maybe you've seen me use these before. Again, just sprinkle them right in on top of the soil. You know, you also could use the alfalfa meal, which is good. It, you know, that way it's broken down a little bit more. And then just, you know, get your garden fork and work this in. Now this half here, I'm growing my Mark Martin house gourds. And so uh, I just like to work, this, work these pellets down down in, into the soil and then just uh, I'm going to just take my hand and gently level that off but again I'm growing these in my composted leaf mulch amended with topsoil and so you know this soil is going to be f full of nutrition you know these melons are really heavy feeders you know like your your squashes your tomatoes your peppers and so you really want to make sure you feed these you could even feed them every every month you know once they start growing and um, and so I'm simply just going to take about eight of these and simply just lay them right on top of the soil and then push them in with my finger. I always overseed when I direct seed out in the garden because there's, I get plenty of seeds left over so I might as well sow plenty of them just in case they don't one or, or some of them don't come up. And uh, so then I'm going to just take those seeds and push them right in with my finger, as simple as that. It's again something very easy to do. And then you just want to make sure you mark your seeds where you plant them with a stick or, you know, I just used a couple sticks down here in the woods. And then before you backfill them, that way you'll, you'll know where, the, where to water your seeds and then just gently fill those holes back in you know make sure there's no clumps that fall into the hole you do want your soil or these seeds to have nice firm contact with the soil here and you know I don't and the, the deer don't seem to, pro, to uh, bother my acorn squash or my butternut squash or the blue hubbers they don't seem to bother that uh, but what I will do is get a, a, I have some 4x4 four four or 5x5 five five fence sections and lay those over these young plants. Once they get growing full maturity, you know, they, the deer don't seem to bother them. But down here below the pond, these, these plants like your pumpkins and your, your acorn squash and uh, butternut squash, they can vine out to 8 to 10 to 12 feet, you know, and so you want to make sure you allow plenty of room for them to grow. 
And I also down here below the pond, I I put a utility pump in my pond, and so I water uh, these raised garden beds down below my pond from the pond water, which also has nutrients in them. And so uh, you know, it really works out well. And then you just want to gently water these seeds in. You know, and if you got a lot of sunny days, you know, you just want to make sure that these seeds stay nice and moist, especially during the germination period. You could also cover these with some row covers or those little mini greenhouses uh, that I use in my empty salad containers. You can cover them, these seeds, with something like that until they start, you know, growing uh, larger. And so, so anyhow, I hope this video has been helpful for you. We're looking forward to having some of this uh, acorn squash. You know, we like to take this you know being we're plant-based we love our vegetables here and you know my my vegetable garden now has taken on a whole new meaning since my wife and I here you know we we follow a plant-based diet or lifestyle now we've moved away from the, the the meats and the dairies and the cheeses you know the foods that injure our body and you know we've just both have experienced amazing results in our health and so you know our cholesterol is plummeted and my blood pressure is plummeted and my energy level of course is skyrocketed which really makes me enjoy my gardening a lot more and I'll have to carry around 65 extra pounds of body fat on me so and hopefully I'll you know it's going to live a lot longer healthier vibrant life so we're looking forward to you know we take these acorn squash and cut them in half you you can stuff them with rice and beans and any kind of vegetable and you know bake them for a certain amount of time and they're just really delicious makes a delicious healthy uh, health promoting meal so anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today. If you do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section below. And, and also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so so you can receive future videos. So anyhow, I just hope you have a wonderful day. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.